with Chief Meteorologist Nick Jansen. We're tracking some thunderstorms probably for the overnight hours here tonight. A cold front not moving as fast as maybe we anticipated yesterday. So I think we'll stay dry most of the evening. We had those thunderstorms that rolled through by noon to one o'clock as planned. And now we're just kind of in a waiting period, waiting for that frontal boundary. As you can see on future track radar, we are dry. We have some radar clutter there from those windmills out in, say, eastern Mower County. The front producing some really strong storms in, say, north central and northern Minnesota up near uh, Duluth towards Brainerd, St. Cloud. Look at the line of thunderstorms. We do have a tornado warning up right along Lake Superior there, and we do have one rogue Tornado warning right there in North Dakota, so that eastern portion there of North Dakota. This line, along with it, is the cold front that should potentially produce a couple isolated storms later on this evening. So here's the frontal boundary. Eventually, that front right moves on through later on tonight. It just doesn't move through at, say, you know, 8, 9 o'clock when we still have some energy from daytime heating. That front moves through a little later, meaning our thunderstorms probably a little bit more isolated. We still have a lot of juice in the atmosphere. And look at some of these dew points, 63, 64, 71. So there's still moisture in the atmosphere for that front to feed off of as it moves through after about sunset here tonight. Notice outside, loose not a live camera, some nice sunshine, temperatures into the 70s. A little muggy, though. Feels like summer with the dew points right back into the mid-60s. I think we have dew points staying that way pretty much from here on out. So here's future track handling that convection and when I say convection, those thunderstorms uh, to our northwest to pretty well. So up near Duluth, Brainerd, St. Cloud, those thunderstorms, I think that line will stay about I-94 and to the east. So watch that line fizzles out here tonight and then we'll zoom in as that front starts to move in. Notice we might start to pop a couple of these little thunderstorms here, probably after about midnight. Not super widespread, so I'm not I'm not too worried about uh, severe weather here through the rest of the evening. Unless if that front moves through a little earlier than say midnight to 1 a.m., if it moves through, starts to pick up some speed, moves through maybe 9, 10 o'clock, maybe we can get a couple stronger thunderstorms. Tomorrow, back behind that front, we will see the chance uh, for a couple straight isolated showers here. Probably late morning Thursday, starting at about 10 to 11 o'clock, lasting until the early afternoon. Saturday, chances for some scattered showers and thunderstorms along with Sunday, Monday, and getting into Tuesday. Next week, with all the heat and humidity that we'll have, we will have the chance for some of those stray thunderstorms throughout most of the afternoons coming up next week. Tonight, 63 for the overnight low. That chance for a couple stray to scattered storms here tonight. And I think our chances of storms are kind of dwindling here, unless if we can get that front to move through a little sooner. Thursday's downtown starts uh, tomorrow in downtown Rochester. Might have to dodge a couple raindrops in the morning. A few showers possible Thursday morning from about 11 until 2. And then eventually we'll have some sunshine. We'll be live there for Midwest Access and we'll be live for 5 and 6 o'clock from Thursday's downtown in Rochester. Here's a look at that seven day forecast as uh, we have Thursday's downtown tomorrow. High temperature in Rochester at 81 degrees. 80 uh, for the high on Friday with some sunshine. We'll see the threat for some scattered showers and thunderstorms on Saturday. A chance for some storms early on Sunday morning. And then, Caitlin, I talked about it yesterday. It's the Florida forecast, mm -hmm. right? You know when you travel to Florida in the summer months, there's about yeah, a chance in the afternoon, about a one-hour window where you'll have the chance for some thunderstorms. I think we see that coming up next week. But not the washout scenario, just the Florida quick little yep, quick, blip in the radar. Yes, quick thunderstorm, and then we move on. All right. Now